All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the second half of our hour of power. Can you say it with me? Hour of power. On serving it up with Joe Nathan. God bless you. I'm with the Lost Cruises channel, and I want you to know that we're having such a bumper job of these two gentlemen joining me. Once again, tell them who you are, man. Man, I'm the founder and CEO of I Am A Testimony Clothing. Ooh, I am man. John McClung. John McClung. All right, tell us who you are. I'm Paul Johnson, disabled veteran. Retired. All right. He may be disabled, but the man is power packed. All right, there's an anointing on all of our lives. All right? We want to get into some places that some people have missed to look. You know, you know those times that you missed your keys, that you lost your keys, you thought you lost your keys, and it was probably in your front pocket, your back pocket, your jack pocket, or on the couch where you left it was when you fell asleep. Guess what? I want you to wake up and come and, you know, take a little, take a little trip with us. All right, we're going to honor, man. I want you to mm. talk to us a little bit about honor. Man, that's a, uh, that's a powerful word. Yes. Uh, I think when you look at honor, there are, I think you can look at legacy honor, Mm -hmm. uh, you can look at family honor, Talk to you know, us, you look John. at personable person honor, yes. you know, so uh, for me, I look at legacy honor, yes. you know, I think what has been built into you as a young person growing yes. up yes. and that, and the, and the thing about that is it, some people may have the bad aspect of that. They may not have had something built into them in a positive right. way. For me, me I, oh, I awesome. had something built in a positive way, a yes. strong foundation. So the honor of that is to be able to do that for someone else. Yes including my son, family, or individuals that I'm trying to help and mo motivate, inspire. Right, right, so right, that right. honor is based on what was built into me. I honor that, and right. then I'm going to actually bring it along to help other people. Awesome. awesome. Anything you want to add to that, Paul? Yeah, it's amazing he said that because throughout my whole life, you know, I owe everything um, to my mom that raised me. Yeah. You know, I know... Um, I, I went through some hard times, you know, I wasn't brought up the right way, but she did the best she knew how. Yes. But at the same time, what she was taking me through, she was teaching me how to deal with being mistreated and, and, and not act on my emotions because I shouldn't be here right now. Right. You know, and based on what she put me through and what I'm dealing with right now is just amazing. Wow. And I honor that because she took it upon herself before she left this world to come to me yes. and apologize. And she said, I didn't, I know I could have done better, but I did the best I knew how. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that healed me. That yes. closed my chapter. Wow. And that gave me the rope to run away with it. All right. To finally step out myself and do what God has had me to do, you okay. know, to, to step out on, on the journey. And right. it has done nothing but uplifted me. And Sometimes, you know, when we do things to people and you don't apologize, it, 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 it destroys that person if they don't have exactly. the will to get, go to God and say, you know, that's why these people commit suicide. That's right. That's you right. Know? And so we've got to be careful what we say and what we honor. Right, mm. right. Because right. we serve a jealous God. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and, and saying that, listen here. Listen, you cannot, and you, everyone has to learn this, you cannot commit self-assassination. Hmm. All right. When you honor your family, when you honor your, your job, when you honor uh, uh, the, 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 the barber who cuts your hair that you laugh with and tell secrets to, when you honor these individuals and then you snatch your life from them, you have dishonored yourself by committing self-assassination. Hmm. And that's not more than just blowing your brains out, slitting your throat, injecting yourself with poison, taking a bunch of pills. But you've dishonored everyone who, know, who knew you or who potentially could have known you down the road. Mm -hmm. I believe that we're, sometimes that's a selfish place to be. Watch this. Now, I don't know the person's thought frame of mind while they're in the place of that darkness. Sure. But we do have to understand that there are things operating in and, 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 and around the scene. It's like the, the <laughs> tsunami. You can't see it, but you feel it. Oh, yes. And when it comes into where it's going to attack, it's devastating. And sometimes we got tsunami demons that we deal with. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to overtake us, brother, but we got to have honor. All right? Absolutely. So I want to talk to, um, uh, uh, when we talk about honor, I also want us to look at, um, th there's another word that I, that I had here, uh, respect. Hmm. 
What do you say about that, John? Well, listen, respect comes in many forms. All right. I think the first thing when you look at what we want to do as an individual, yes, we have to respect the gifts we've been given. I love it, man. You know what I'm saying? I love it, man. <clears throat> we have been given skills, talents, abilities, gifts, and experiences. Right. Respect them. Why? Because those very things are what's going to make the difference in other people's lives. Wow. You've been given you know, those things to make a difference, to change, impact, and add value. Right. right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you're not going to respect what God has given you, because think about when you look at the parable of the talents. Yes, yes. Two individuals respected the yes. talents that they were given. You're right, man. You, know you want it. So they actually duplicated their talents, and then you had one individual who disrespected the talent, yes. and he buried them. Wow. Right. So if you're going Woo! to disrespect to me, what has been given you, then you can't affect lives. That's right. You know, you are what you repeatedly do. Therefore, if you are going to be excellent, it's not an act, it's a habit. So respect has to be in habit on who you are and what you want to be. Wow, dude. That takes me to, <clears throat> can you, go on a journey on me. Go on a journey with me. Here is Yeshua, Jesus, walking along already knowing who he's going to engage a conversation with because of those gifts. Mm -hmm. Look at the 12 that he selected, <laughs> right? He honored the father by not deviating from the plan, right? Yeah. He understood the process, validated the purpose. Mm. And so he respected the father and said, even to those who were clapping their hands and, and throwing up pom-poms and said, oh, he, you're throwing palm trees at his feet, knowing that these same folk were going to be the ones who deny them, mm -hmm. who deny him. Yeah. But in, in saying all of that, he selected all these 12 men. And today, their aspects, their process is spilling over into our lives. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And I'm saying, I'm saying to myself, wow. You have you had enough trust in me that I could do this and meet individuals who can add value to my life. Right, right. Right? Right. And and the purpose was that we heal a nation. Yes? That's right. We 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 bring we now we're the Noahs. Right? That's we're the right. Moses. Yes, that's very yeah. true. He's, and listen, Josh, Joshua, Joshua had to understand that when the father spoke to him, he said, my servant Moses is dead now. What are you going to do with what I've given you? I made you a warrior. Hmm. It's time to do what? Fight, man. Fighting for what? Not, not that I can have a conversation on a cell phone and make promises that I'm not going to keep, but honor and respect the fact that I've been chosen for who I am to be. Hmm. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. So, man, okay, okay, so where else can we go and respect? Let me, let me I want to piggyback off of something. Say that, man. Go ahead. You know, you talked about the 12. And it's yes. funny, I would, uh, you know, I read the Bible through, so I'm in the book of Mark right now reading. Uh -huh. If you look at the individuals that were chosen, initially it was started out as the name Apostles. Wow, talk to me. But the moment that they were actually chosen to follow because of who they were, they were changed to Disciples. disciples. <laughs> so, so if you look at, let, so let's, let's put this in today's thought process because there's going to be somebody that's wondering, should they have apostles around them yes. or disciples around them? Talk to because me, man. if you look at who are you choosing in reference to your life to be an apostle or a disciple, because we still individually can make choices as far as right. who's going to be on right. our team. Right. 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 So if you are an individual who is wow. trying to choose who's going to be on your team, you got to separate the That's apostles right. from, from the, the disciples. disciples. You know? <laughs> uh, now, see, now, now, now yeah, here, here, yeah, here's the pastor. Yeah. Here's the pastor. You messing with my members. <laughs> That's all I hear. You call somebody, hey, you know, I know you got this gift. And I'd like for you to come over and blah, blah, blah. Oh, you need to call me first. They need to come through me. Who are you? Mm. I tell the preachers. Who have been assigned to me for me to lead. Guess what? When someone calls you, guess what? You're going to answer that assignment. Mm. All I need you to do is text me so I can pray and cover you. Mm. Why? Because I don't believe in membership. Mm. I believe in discipleship. Hey. We have been brought into this to work. And work out our own soul salvation. I cannot tell the preachers who serve in the ministry where I preach at. 
that I have the responsibility or I have the authority to tell them where they can and cannot go. Hmm. Jesus did not do that. That's very true. Right? <laughs> they said, hey, well, why these why men, why these men couldn't cast out the demon? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and that, well, listen here, when you craft in your gift and you sharpen it the way it should be sharpened, guess what? It's going to penetrate anything that stands in its way. That's very true. Hello. Yeah. That's why I looked the devil in his face and I let him know, I smell and see and taste you. I know what you come for. You came to do what? Three things. Kill, steal, Kill and to destroy. Sure. But guess what? I've got a standard with inside me. And that standard says to me, guess what? I've called you for the purpose to illuminate the enemy that all eyes can see that he is real. Hmm. <laughs> Just as real as we are, right. we, have to, we have to be able to illuminate the power with, that holds with inside individuals. And that meant, that, you know, first and foremost, we know the shepherd was the door. The corral that the sheep were in, anything that came in and out, was, it, it was given Pleasure to come in and out because the shepherd was the door. Hmm. And Christ is saying, listen, I want you to come in and out of me, but I need you shaped just like I'm shaped. Because premature babies don't, may, may not last long. Hmm. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Talk talk to me, man. What do you think about that? <laughs> Almost a good kid. Because I was going to say the whole bunch. Yeah, talk to us, bro. <laughs> Hey, He's trying to hold out. No, no, I'm just saying, man. No, he our no, secret no. weapon, y'all. He our secret weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, no, um, you're right. Um, I, it's, it's, it's all in how you t take things. And, and, and like I said, you have to be ready to receive. Uh, when you ask God to come into your life, it's a whole new life. Yes. And a lot of people, they kind of hate it. Because yeah. they know yeah, yeah. when he calls you, your whole life is going to change. That's right. Just like the drugs, just for example, drug dealer. Uh huh. You know, he always knew how to hustle, make us hustle yes. and everything. Get it. Yes, yes. But when finally he's reached out and touch, uh, well, let's say his girlfriend taking the church and he's touched by the Lord, he gets saved. Right, right. His whole world going to turn upside down. Right. So he's now, he's not used to still making that quick buck. Right. Now God is showing him what it's like to earn real money. Wow. Woo! Man! You know, God is showing him what it's like to walk through him now, the right way. And it's just like what we was talking about, a guardian. He's, he's, he's reprogramming. He's, he's fluffing up his soul. You right. know, he's showing him what it's like to earn money, how, how it is to struggle. Now he can't pay this. He can't pay that. Mm -hmm. But now he can't go back to the old way of doing what he used wow. to do because now he's focused. God is guiding him. But at the same time, he got other people in his ear. Oh, man, come on back on the streets, man. Come on, let's right, do this. Right, 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 right. But if he's strong-minded and stay in the Word, he's going to keep continuing to go through what wow. he go through. Because he knows once God's put him on that level, no man or no one can bring him back down. Wow. You know, I looked, at, I looked in the dictionary, the spirit of the father, the, the master. He took me to this word called punk. <laughs> I'm serious, man. He took me to this word and he showed me. He said, listen, there's too many petty thieves and crooks within the four walls, the hiding place under your said name and your said pastor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a preacher. Hey, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. I've been designed to expose the enemy. And the enemy has crept up in our churches and he has taught us how to be punks. I want to end with that. We, we have to make sure that we honor and respect the call that's upon our life. Whatever walk we walk into, every book that you write, I think that, and I know that the Holy Ghost will stroke your pen. Right? You're no, you're no more a military man, but you can leave the right words to those who are getting ready to be grafted into that. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So there's so many things, there's so many things that we got to look forward to, gentlemen. All right. And I appreciate you guys coming on. And, you know, let's hit it. We got to do this again. <laughs> Amen. 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 Absolutely. Amen. All right. We got to do it again because, listen, there is strength in numbers, yes. yeah. but I can walk alone. Yeah. All right. We know that at some point we got to walk alone. So that on that key, ladies and gentlemen, we love you so much that we love you so much that we hate the hell out of you. Hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> yes. I love you enough to hate the hell out of you. And I want you to understand something here.
that on the Lost Cruces channel, we're bringing you nothing but real and raw ministry. It is the community is the church, not the church, the community. Blessings to you. John, Paul, we love you so much. We'll see you next time. God bless you. All right. If you're looking for a new pet that you can cherish every day, consider adopting from a shelter. Shelters are full of healthy, loyal, fun, loving pets, eager to become a part of your family. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. So bring home your new buddy today. To find out more, you can visit the shelterpetproject.org. Hi, I'm Cheryl Burke. And I have a confession to make. I have a serious crush on my workout. Hip, fun, and always a challenge. Jazzercise is the total package. It's the only workout that I've ever truly loved. Does it show? That's because I'm in the best shape of my life. What a difference Jazzercise makes. When's the last time your workout swept you off your feet? Find a class near you at jazzercise.com. Since I got adopted, I've learned a lot about these humans. Uh, I know. I mean, check out these two. It's Flirt City over here. I think she's getting his number. Nice. Your humans got some sweet moves. Takes after his dog. <laughs> hey, don't touch that dial, because you're watching the only independent TV station here in Las Cruces. The Las Cruces Channel. Keep watching. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more final half. I know I said good night, but it ain't over yet. We get ready to go a little bit hotter. We going deep underground. Yeah, we on Soul Patrol. Guess what? Once again, tell them who you are. I am John McClung, owner of I'm a Testimony Clothing, Ruben West Black Bell speaker, and a three-time Amazon Ooh, bestseller. Author. Big dogs is in the house. <laughs> Can you feel the guns? Cock blocked and ready to rock. On that note, talk to us, Paul. I'm Paul Johnson, retired disabled veteran. I'm ready to go. All right. Y'all can tell it's hot in the house tonight. We're talking about some awesome things. All right. So guess what? John, I want you to start us off with a thought, man. We get ready to end this thing. You know what? When you have uh, three men that come together. Yes. The one thing that you want to do is you want to leave people with an inspiration or motivation, yes. a message that uh, resonates, something that they can actually do right Talk now. Talk to me, man. So, your audience, you know, there would be three things that I would say to them that they can uh -huh. do right now, especially in a conversation. Yes. You know, if you are an individual who is a dreamer, you have a vision, there's something that you want to do, something tugging on your life. The first thing, make the decision to do it. Decide right. to do right. it, you know, right. because you don't move forward unless you make a decision in some aspect in your life to go toward whatever it is that you want to do. Right. The, the second thing you got to do is you need to dedicate yourself to the decision you make. Because wow. if you don't commit and dedicate yourself to whatever choice you make on your life from a standpoint of a dream or a vision, ministry, message, whatever it may be, yes. then that commitment is not going to move you toward what you are trying to reach as a goal. I hear you. you know, so you have to be, dedicate yourself and commit yourself to yes. it. And that can be in anything that you do. Right. You know, so you know, the third principle of that is when you do decide whatever it is you're going to do, yes. when you dedicate and commit yourself to it, uh -huh. then deliver. Wow. Because, see, if you don't deliver on what you said you're going to do, yeah. then not only will you be detrimental to yourself, uh -huh. but the individuals that have been, that are watching, because people are always yes. watching you. Yes, you know, So those who are watching, those you are trying to inspire and motivate, then you're actually 
you're putting a dent in them too. Yes. You know, they're going to be disappointed because you didn't deliver on the on what you chose <coughs> to do in life. Excuse so, me. you know, decide what it is you're going to do, dedicate yourself to it, and then deliver. Man, I, that brings me to my last three words that we talked about. One, you talked about some things, and I'm saying that with that number one thing that you, you I want to line up with you is courage. Mm. Huh? The second point that you uh, went to, uh, I want to talk also about leadership. And then I want to end us with one word. It's called power. Hmm. Hmm? Do you think all three of those words can match up with the final statement that you made? Yeah, I believe so. I think when you look at those intertwining each other, they right. come to a specific point right. you know, from a standpoint of individuals being able to move forward in whatever they want to do in yes. life. Because it does, as you know, your last word is power. It does yes. take power to move forward. Right. It takes power to overcome. Right. You know, you've had, we've had conversations about specific things that we deal with. Right. And you've been given a specific type of power. Right. It's built into you. Yes. When you look at leadership, you know, leaders listen. Yes. Leaders learn. That's you right. Know, leaders lead. That's right. That fact. So in that aspect, you have to look at those two going to let, you know, because some people who are quote unquote leaders. Yes. Who think they have power don't know how to lead. That's right. Because a leader needs to know how to be a servant too. Right. You know, so, right. You right. Have, so when you begin to intertwine those, I like they that, make man. sense. Yes. Because I mean the courage, the courage part of, of, of where I'm looking at is you gotta have courage to understand that the people that who he has put into your life have have the ability to in house within you all three of those courage, leadership and power. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying this, I look at anyone who ever comes to Valley Grove where I pastor at, my, my, my first and number one question is, what is, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, what is your profession? What do you do out there that you love so much? Or your passion. Your passion. Mm -hmm. And so I'm saying, whatever you're doing out there, and whatever assignment that you're doing out there, and you're hungry for it, and you're going after it, guess what? That's belongs in his house. Mm. It belongs in his presence. If, if, if this was the world, I believe he's the nucleus. He's right in the center. Oh, definitely that. Definitely that. Mm -hmm. Reaching up to cover. Cloak and cover us. But it took courage for every man who was ever chosen to say, I will do. I will obey. Oh, absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. what are you, what's your thoughts on that? Paul, what's your thoughts on that? What's your thoughts on that, Paul? <laughs> so you, Secret weapon. I thought he said it. Right. 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 I'm like, I'm in church the old school blah, days. Blah, like, hold on. Blah, 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 blah. Um, <laughs> yeah. i like to pick it back off of him, what he was saying. Um, it all starts within the mind. Um, I, like I was telling him when he was at my house not too long ago, your, your attitude determines your altitude. I like that, I like that. Okay, um, you have to have a new mindset mm -hmm. when you going through, uh, like this year, this is 2016, so let's say for instance, this is 2016, everybody right. saying, oh, this gonna be my year, this gonna be my year. Well, if this gonna be your year and you got the new mindset, there is no way you can bring 2015 of your history into right. 2016 You're right. You're right. and expect things to go the way you want right. to go down. When you make a plan, like he said, write it down. Yes. See the vision, write it down. Yes. That's your motivation. When you wake up, write it down. You, you have to be organized. You have to reprogram your right. whole mind. Right. You have to right. do things you've never done before. Right. You know, like I was telling a lot of people, a lot of people like to judge, you know, like, like I tell them, don't judge my breakthrough until you've been through my walkthrough. Woo! Say that one more time, yeah. man. Don't judge my breakthrough until you've been through my walkthrough. Wow, man. Don't do that. Oh. Because people are always saying, oh, I wish I could be like that person, or I no, wish I could do that. No, you don't, because no, you, you don't, don't know that walkthrough. You That's don't know right. what it took for them to get to where they at. That's powerful, man. So I'm a witness. Right, right. <laughs> you know, I'm living it right now, and what, I thank God. What did it take? Let me ask you this. Let me, as a military man, John, you ever been in the military? No, sir, I have not. Okay, so this question is very important. For those who are yet still in the military, and for those who are potentially thinking about going to the military, what did it take for you to have the courage to get on every apparatus to go into war? Faith. Faith! 
Faith. Man, we came back around. Came back around <laughs> to the beginning. Faith. Here you got here you got people that are telling us that we are praying to something that does not exist. Look at where I'm going right here, man. Now, okay, we need we we got to deal with this. Everybody is telling us that this great creator he said, you shall call me Yahweh. And we have changed his name. Why? Because we wanted to change his perspective. Yes? We have taken, we have taken away the spirit. And we have offered flesh. We have denounced his love. And we're infected with lust. We, we, have, been, we have been offered his promise. But all we offer is pain. Look at what we're doing. We're doing the totally opposite. Now, if he's, if he's looking up, covering and cloaking, you've got to say the enemy is looking down because the Bible tells me that hell has enlarged herself. So that tells me, okay, so both of them have brides, and we can relieve, we can relieve on this one. They both have brides. Hell is Satan's bride, and the church is supposed to be God's bride. So my question is this. Both of them wants children and both of them want to impregnate their bride look at what I'm saying now they both want to get the, and, and, and any good woman wants to be impregnated by their husband so we got where am I going at this, at this end we all have been impregnated by both but we choose the seed that we fertilize mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm with you there. Okay. Yeah. All right, does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's our time. I got to wrap it up. And this is the final goodbye. <laughs> I don't want to go. Yeah, but you know those saying. But you got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. The, the not, <laughs> we're going to see you on the next go round, ladies and gentlemen. We, we bless God for you. And I hope that there was something said through these two segments. That will bring you not pain, but pleasure, knowing that you are a part of this Father. Blessings to you, Pastor Joe Nathan Haywood, Valley Grove Christian Faith Center. All right, this is the Lost Cruise Channel 98. Blessings and have a good night.